Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and today I want to talk about session templates in Pro Tools. Now, I know session templates is not the most exciting topic to discuss, but it is important. And, you know, since we're talking about productivity in your studio, anytime you can save setting up a session, setting up things to record, anytime you can save in doing that, the more time you can spend recording. And that's really what it's all about. If setting up a session can save you 10 minutes per song, that's 10 minutes you didn't have before. So we're going to look at that. With Pro Tools 8, they added a new feature, which lets you set up a uh, template that you can just open sessions from. Very cool and very helpful. If you actually come up to the new session window here, instead of having just the create blank session section, you've got the create session from template. And they give you a lot of sort of pre-baked options here for songwriters, for recording and mixing, where you have 24 or 32 channels with EQ and dynamics and effects. And there's also different settings like guitar that give you a lot of different templates with sessions that have guitar amp modeling plugins already set up on individual tracks so you don't have to set those up yourself. And of course, probably the most useful option is that you can use this to create your own templates. So I actually have a session already open that I made from the template that I created that I've been using lately. And as you can see, it's not a huge template, but there's a lot going on and it's already set up for me. As you can see, I have some scratch tracks here, and I've got some acoustic guitar tracks all routed to an, a, one single aux track that I can process the entire, all the acoustics together. I've got, uh, you know, my master things over here. I've got my reverb set up there, and my click track. What's cool about the click track is that takes a while to set up in and of itself because I prefer to have like a kick drum sound for my click as opposed to just the, you know, the woodblock sound that comes with the typical Pro Tools click track. And you can do that by pulling up something like Expand and then in your preferences telling the click to trigger a note in Expand as opposed to just the regular woodblock. And that can take a few minutes to set up. And that's a few minutes I'd rather not spend every time I open a new song. So I have it set up here automatically uh, and it's ready to go. And as you can see over here on the left-hand side, this isn't all that I've created. I've got a whole section here for background vocals that we can make visible, and they'll show up here. And I've got another section for electric guitars and a bass, all with their own auxes and everything set up. And as you can see, these channels already have reverb sends on them, ready to go, ready to send out to the reverb. And I've got additional um, aux tracks set up here for additional delays and uh, additional reverb if we wanted to do that with this session. So as you can see, this can save a lot of time. I can come in here when I'm ready to record guitars. I just pull up those tracks and hit record, and we go to town. We're recording. So your homework assignment, I guess, would be to create your own template session. It's, it's very helpful, along with the previous video labeling your IOs, having a session template or a couple templates for different types of sessions that you work on can be huge in saving time and increasing productivity in your home studio. And as you can see, you don't have to have everything active. I've got a piano track here. It's completely inactive, but it's there, and it's already got the virtual instrument set up with a piano patch pulled up. So when I'm ready to use that, I just activate it. The same with my mastering effects. I've got my SSL compressor and L1 limiter already instantiated on this track, but they're inactive. So when I go to do a mix or a quick bounce, I simply just inactivate those and do the bounce, and we're good to go. So if you have any questions on this, this is a cool thing to think about. It can definitely save you some time. If you do have questions, head over to my website, homestudiocorner.com, and leave a comment there. And hopefully we can start a discussion. I want to know how you set up your templates. Uh, what are some suggestions you can give to me for better setting up my templates in the future? And uh, we'll hopefully have a nice little discussion there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.